Hey again, Facebook. I'm back with another argument. Hey, we got to fix this school district. The superintendent's crazy. Kids don't need to wear masks unless they have bad grades. I'm telling Everyone, it's time to talk book banning. Why are kids still reading holes? Don't you think our government has dug us in enough holes? Yeah, we're going to go there. Please let me know in the comments. I fully believe I can make actual change on this website. Hey, we'd love to have an open dialogue in the comments. Completely just like, I'm curious, why would you vote for that stupid, stupid old guy? Okay, hey, completely unbiased. Let's just talk, let's hash it out. Who else is with me? Down with the 1%, tax the rich. As I type this on a computer uh, that's owned by the most valuable company in the world on a website owned by one of the most powerful people in the world, right? <laughs> Don't zoom in on my child labor. Sweatshirt, please. No, hey, not now, dude. No, I'm in a battlefield in the comments with Deborah. I don't know. How do you know her? I don't know her, but she spelled lose with two O's, so I'm gonna ruin her day. Deborah! <laughs> Jake, you ever gone to war in the comment section? Uh, no, but I've been around people who do, and I do not hang out with them anymore. Yeah. It's scary. If you don't agree with me, unfollow me. <laughs> people love to say that. Yep. Yeah. It's like, if you voted for so-and-so, go ahead and just delete yourself off my page. Yeah. If you, people don't realize this, but Jake and I, we are, um, we, we've said this a lot, but climate change, we think we prefer to be warmer. Yeah. So What's if you don't agree deal? with that, <laughs> yeah. unsubscribe. Please. I mean, who doesn't love, I mean, there's a reason so many people move down to Florida. Mm -hmm. Same thing. We're back. Correct opinions. Um, we got a fun little word from a sponsor. We'll get to today's episode. Love you guys. Let's do this. Were you a good learning boy? Kinda, but I wish it was more interactive. Well, OutSchool's here to help. OutSchool <laughs> offers the largest variety of live interactive online classes for kids pre-K through high school. Whoa. Uh, classes are actually fun. They have stuff like video game design, cartoon animation, playing an instrument. Uh, there's something for any kid. I, I checked this out. Out school show me some of the classes. Very impressed. I have uh, friends whose little kids love out school. I've thought about adopting just so I can put a kid in out school. Boom. Yep. There's classes that are super affordable. Makes it easier for kids to learn what they love. Um, so get it, get it for the kids in your life. We love out school. You'll love it too. Out school has helped uh, kids everywhere get excited about learning. They can help uh, yours too. To learn more about all out school has to offer and to save fifteen dollars off your child's first class, go to outschool.com slash tray and use code tray. That's code tray at O U T S C H O O L dot com slash tray to save fifteen dollars off your child's first class. Outschool.com slash tray. Correct opinion. Correct opinion. You sound a little stopped up, my man. I don't know what happened, but yeah, late last night I go to fall asleep. And I realize, uh-oh, I have what appears to be the Hoover Dam in my left nostril. And mm. nothing is getting through. And I was like, oh, I'll sleep on it. And so I did. I literally slept on my nose. And uh, that was dumb. I don't know why I decided Ouch. to do that. Yeah, it hurt. It didn't mm -hmm. in any way uh, alleviate the symptoms. So, yeah, just a little stopped up boy today, but that's okay. You ever done a neti pot? Sinus rings? No. Um, I've done a Nelly pot. You ever done that? Uh, not since college. Yeah, it's fun. You just mm -hmm. put on hot in here while you drink some tea. <laughs> it's that'll, great. That'll get your sinuses cleared up. <laughs> yeah, it does something. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. You get your you get your uh, snot out and your clothes off. <laughs> yeah, good time. But no, I've never done the neti pot. I, I've seen you do it, and I've seen you be pretty particular about the water you do it with. Well, they say you should use uh, distilled water. Yes. Because I guess um, not distilled water, or I guess all the other water I, is riddled with things that would get worms in your brain oh yeah that does suck yeah so, distilled stay woke. so now i only i ba i bathe every day with distilled water well it is you know. expensive and <laughs> yeah they're heavy can't to be too careful there, but can't be too careful i mean why not hey in this day and age covid better distilled than not also what does it mean is distilled the opposite of just stilled or like like when a well, undistilled like, like, undistilled or like yeah computers would be like would you like to distill this program like un in, un in distill it's confusing still pack what do they want me to do yeah mcafee security protection un in distill i uh i saw nelly live a couple weeks ago not to brag yeah i went to the game and i got some guy who has like one one hit wonder that was on tiktok and he performed at my chief's game what what was the halftime show it was uh the guy who sings fancy like the applebee's song the applebee's song 
Well, that sounds like a dream. There's an Applebee song. <laughs> uh, uh, Eating good <laughs> in the neighborhood. They're like, this and it's is a bunch bizarre of, for halftime, but I'm kind of digging it. Yeah, it's the Applebee song. A lot of like white people are kind of clapping at different times to it. Yeah. It's kind of an irregular beat. It's just the Applebee song. It's like some crazy sing off. The guy walks in. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back. Chili. I said eating good in the neighborhood. Get on your feet. Skillet queso. Skillet queso. One time. If the Chiefs score 25 points, <laughs> everyone gets a free crisper. Molten lava cake. Wow. Anyway, it, the song is called Fancy Like. Fancy Like. And I know that Applebee's. Can you tell that this is the genre By of music? By Walker was, Hayes? Yes. I don't know the words very well at all. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. Got it. All right, we'll see we'll see if he can make That's an interesting vibe for a, an NFL game. You're like, we're fired up to be here. Let's keep it let's keep the party going. He's like, "Remember Applebee's?" Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're like, "Yeah. Applebee's hit big on this one. Got this one on their commercials and then it blew up." Yeah, good for them. Which reminds me, didn't uh They do a lot of things right. <laughs> Who was it like? Oh, Beyonce talked about Red Lobster in that one song, which that lobbies did some numbers after that. So mm-hmm. shout out to the musicians. But yeah, it was interesting. He did the first half of Fancy Like to open his set, and they did three or four songs that no one's ever heard of. Right. And then I think he could tell That's like tough. these people don't know what I'm do- do- like doing right now. So then he went back to Fancy Like to end it. He's like, remember that song I did at the beginning? What if I did that again? And then That's, I was like, oh, we know this one again. It's got to be tough when you're... Uh, it was a rough concert. You just, you just got the one song. And you're like, we're going to open with this and close with it. <laughs> yeah. We're going to sing it twice. We're going to sing yeah. four songs. Do them the same way. Uh-huh. People are like, yes, sing it again. Perfect. That's all we know. And then I don't know what it was like on TV, but the national anthem, the microphone cut out um, at the stadium. W- was that how it was on TV? Or well, did you hear it? let me... I'll tell you. No, I did. I missed the anthem. And okay. I'll tell you that story. You continue. So, right off the bat, I mean, let me set the scene as I'm at the Chiefs game. I'm three rows from the top. So, you know, best seats in the house. I'm around uh, some Bengals fans. Some are nice. Some are not so pleasant. One guy right off the bat. I mean, I even said to my friends, like, there's no way he can keep this up all game. Like, his voice will be gone. I just can't wait for it to be over with. This guy was kind of obnoxious. And the game hasn't even started yet. National Anthem. And there's some audiovisual, you know, some technical difficulties. We can't hear a shanty, which <laughs> that's why I got there early. I want to hear Ashanti oh, sing. Me, ooh, baby, all over me. Take it, it over me. And it was kind of this cool moment, which I've seen since then, has gone viral. Like, because uh, all of Arrowhead Stadium starts singing the national anthem to help her out because we can't hear her. It's kind of this cool moment. It kind of like gives you chills. Like 80,000 people singing the national anthem. Mm-hmm. Not this Bengals fan behind me. He's just yelling, had a week to figure it out. Can't get the mic working. I'm not, hey, What's with the city? And it's I'm, like, dude. I'm embarrassed to be an American right now. It is during the national anthem. Everyone, everyone Boo! is saying, yeah, He's just hating on it. How many people sing the under God part? The under God part? I believe that is the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> <laughs> Derek is, oh, is upset. Oh, <laughs> I've. That's why I've always got the words wrong. You're like, Every guys, national anthem, I'm like, they're singing the wrong song. <laughs> I uh, pledge allegiance to the flag. Is there something about God in the national anthem? Uh, Old Betsy Ross pin. Old Betsy Ross. <laughs> that was one of my favorite songs she wrote. Mm-hmm. Yeah, with Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, she was great. People sleep on it. I know. And it's Susan B. Anthony was the first one to sing it, which is great. I love just all of our famous Americans. Yep. It's she, incredible. But yeah. She's got a voice for all of us. Susan B. singing. Is what she'd be doing. I missed the anthem because someone said, I'll host the watch party. And we got there. Um, he's like, oh, yeah, well, you can't watch it. So here and then 30 minutes of frantic, um, just MacGyvering a setup here. Like we were like trying to yeah, what are you trying? get a laptop going and HDMI. We're trying to cast it. The Wi-Fi is not good. We're trying to hotspot. Finally, finally he bring, he finds a Chromecast brings it out we get it working um we missed the first five minutes of the game oh wow um this guy really got into your full <laughs> so you like, had a week to figure this out yeah the same yeah, yeah. <laughs> my goodness what country are we living in <laughs> yep that was uh 
That's know. a bummer. Some people were like, yeah, come on. I was like, this is ridiculous. Some people were like, I mean, it's fine. I'm like, he didn't know. I'm like, yeah, he need. <laughs> I wouldn't invite you over. Like, hey, you guys want to come play basketball? It's like, do you, is your basketball, of, do you have a basketball? I'm like, I don't know. I don't look. Huh, I don't when know. We all get there. We'll just look around. Are you guys wanting to play basketball with a hoop? Or are you mm-hmm. just dribbling drills? Oh, I, I thought a watch party. I thought someone else would bring the TV. <laughs> we just, that was a, we didn't communicate. Oh, watch party quickly puts away a bunch of Rolexes. But sorry, yeah, we figured it out. Great time. Uh, had some nice. So I got some heat for this. So we're we're getting a little watch party. Of course, people are like, "What should, what's everyone bringing?" Someone's like, "What if everyone brought like a fun dip?" Okay, but fun this, dip. That's tricky. I'll go to Dave like, and Buster's. So I'll have you some after a few games of skee ball. But I went to a dip party once. Okay, and you don't realize that ninety nine percent of dips are cheese based. <laughs> And you're like, what's wrong with just a big cheese party? Well, you only need so much cheese. You have okay. you have too many cheese dips. It ends the party real soon. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. Good for you. I mean, we're we're, we're at a, an apartment complex, and you're like, this this plumbing's going down 17 stories. We're rolling a lot of dice here. Let's not do this. Yeah. So I said, hey, let's just. I would. I love dips, but let's 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 coordinate some non dairy dips. Yeah, I don't even know exactly. Just tell me the genre of dip you're going for. We can plan this out. People were like, oh, shut up, Trey. <laughs> Who doesn't like cheese? Well, we guess what? We show up. They're all dairy dips. Somewhere, <laughs> she brought some, uh, we had a friend bring a dessert dip. I was like, this, she's like, there's no cheese in it. I'm like, what is it? She's like, it's whipped cream. I'm like, that, <laughs> that's the, the sh- that's sugar cheese. That's awesome. Should have called Derek and I over. Which I had a lot of. So. Yeah. Could have gotten after the whipped cream dip. Um, but there was a lot of cheese. I had, to, I had to kind of pick and choose. And all together, a great a great event. But the Chiefs lost in devastating fashion. Yeah. Which we know. But it's okay. Well, sorry about the dip troubles. Guys, let us know in the comments that when Trey puts his hand up on your hip, when you dip, you dip. What would you dip? Let us know. Not dairy. Fun dip? <laughs> Man, I loved Fun Dip. That was my go-to at like arcades. Ooh, like I got fifteen tickets left over. Boo, yeah. You ever suck the the Fun Dip stick into like a shiv? Um, sure. Yeah, if Trevor was aggravating me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, I was that weird kid who sometimes you take a stick and you start sharpening it into like a spear on the concrete sidewalk. Oh, I bet your parents were worried about you. You're a like, bit. hey, yeah. <laughs> Imagine. Never laid a finger on anyone, but <laughs> I did lay a stick. Does yeah. that count? Yeah. I shanked a kid. Those fun dip sticks, there's something to them. I, it's not even the sugar I care about. It's I the stick. So. It's the stick. The stick is amazing. It's kind of chalky. I love how chalky it is. Yeah. It's awesome. You ever you ever uh, have a little bit of a tummy ache, but you also want a treat? You just pop a roll age. You're like, mm. Oh, Tums, dude. Yeah. I woke up. Um, yes, I woke up two days ago. Nice. Feeling good. Waking up. Slept in a little bit. I'm hopping in the shower. Brush my teeth. I spit, my saliva is black. Oh. And I'm kind of like, <laughs> what? I'm trying to remember, like, what did I consume? I don't, I kind of spit again. I'm like, I'm dying. Yeah. I have lung cancer. I don't know. Yeah. This is how I've learned. I don't even know what to think. And then I did a little research. I, I popped a Pepto Bismol right before bed. Okay. <laughs> um, this was both, in, in, but this was both reactive and proactive. Yeah. You know, I, I've, I've had a day of, uh, we went golfing, went to dinner out, with some barbecue after. So I need a little Pepto. And my, I'm looking forward to a Sunday of football where cheese dip. I'm having a lot of cheese dip. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, that's the kind of guy I am. I prepare for these things. And I, I, apparently if some of that Pepto residue sits in your mouth or like if you have it right before bed, Jeez. you wake up with black mouth. <laughs> Which enemies. I don't want to be canceled for. Yeah. No, it's Pepto's fault. Exactly. But I, I had about thirty seconds where I was uh, about to hand over my Instagram account to you. <laughs> but I, I think I'm good. So I, it's a little pro tip from to all the recties from your pal Trey. If you take Pepto right before bed, Pepto. maybe play a prank. If you if you're married or something, like honey, you don't want to want to take this. And in the morning, they're like, "What? My tongue is black." And you're like, "Do you have anything you want to say to me before you mm-hmm. pass on?" And then you get to know what they actually think of you. Mm-hmm. Fun prank. Yep. Family friendly. Do it. Yeah. Pepto before bed. Trick them that they're dead. Ha ha. <laughs> Do it. I got, uh, one time I was trying to get a massage. I was really in the mood. Me and a friend. We're just driving around Branson, Missouri. Just massage mood, you know. And we couldn't yeah. find one. That. <laughs> you... What? 
<laughs> it's just great. If any other man said that, you'd be like, what? But you're a sweet guy. It was actually me and Peter, um, your your friend from last episode, who you just, out of nowhere, nailed oh, the he one to, ailment he Yeah, has. he needed to get that cyst worked out. We Yeah, apparently. Mm -hmm. Proactive. And we couldn't find a massage place or whatever, so we were like, ooh, this place has a foot detox. Let's do that. He's like, I'm really looking for the tailbone. <laughs> Do you, do you specify? It's like, where do you, whenever you go to massage, like, what do you like to target? Shoulders, whatever. Stay away from the feet. Ticklish. If you could really penetrate the tailbone. They're like, really? You're I have a no, up. No muscles? Nope. Mm -hmm. Just the tailbone. Just the bone. <laughs> yeah. Just I want... the light tapping. <laughs> so you got a foot detox. Which, have you ever done that? Do they like rub onions on your toes or what happened? Not really. Uh, and it's not the leeches thing either or whatever. Because I'm also a little scared of that. But foot detox is... My retirement plan, because it looks like a way to just trick people into things and you just take their money from them. It seems so easy. Basically, you say, hey, put your feet in this bath and certain colors are going to start coming out of your feet. But then you look at this chart and it'll tell you what the colors mean. And I know they just put dye in it beforehand and they're just messing with you. Like, yep, anxiety. Yeah. Well, we got it um, out of you. You're I'm welcome. pretty sure I'm not gay. I don't... <laughs> what is rainbow? Yeah. This is a ripoff. I know. <laughs> I mean, that's. I personally am not into that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> or it's not even really like toxins. It's yeah. just like uh, always gets here late or something. It's yeah. like okay, that's not even like a it's just bright red. They're like ah, extreme right winger. We got <laughs> no. I... How would it what know do you mean? this? I've got a cell phone on me. The five G, five G, fine. <laughs> Yeah, just weird stuff. Yeah, yeah. The chart is really specific. So, what did it tell it you? It says still thinks about. What's his the ex. color of your sweatshirt? What, did, what would that tell? What would that mean if that came out of your feet? Oh, this would be. Um, I think this would be like needs to needs to go gluten free. It would mm. tell you that. Like it's kind of a soft, wow. softer palette. But you didn't listen to it. Well, the reason I thought of this is because it was mine came out black, and I was like, uh oh, uh oh, that seems like the worst color. Yeah. And then they're like, no, that's just, um, honestly, black's one of the better ones. That just means it's like, it's just little like toxins from your body. Could be stress, could just be like um, bits of iron. It's like, that's the answer. Yeah. Like, I, don't, I just feel so unsatisfied by this. That's good. They didn't say like, black. They're like, that mean, that is bad. <laughs> like, that's not even on the Let's chart. Rebrand that. Yeah. So just be wary out there. Or also start a foot detox business because it's it doesn't what, mean anything. What color did your buddies come out? I remember here was it was kind of a bright yellow orange, and it said in six years you're oh, gonna no. have a cyst. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but it's an interesting thing. I it's, don't know. Yeah, I guess some you know they get it right sometimes, but not all the time. As you're saying, it's a ripoff. They need to be more accurate. Yeah, it's mm. just like a horoscope reading. It's like mm. ah, I think there's some things in the future that you're contemplating, and I think you need to spend more time thinking about them. <gasps> yes. Oh. Do you I'm wish such a vertigo? Vertigo. <laughs> vertigo. I'm a vertigo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm such a chrysanthemum. I yeah. always do this. Um, I know. I'm seeing in the crystal ball that you wish you had a better relationship with some of the people in your life. Would you say that's true? Mm. Yeah. I paid that. I am a hummus. <laughs> that hits it. It's a nail right on the head. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> Can't help it. I remember doing crowd work with a guy in Memphis, and I was like, what's your name, sir? And he said, Ari. I was like, oh, nice. I'm a Pisces. Like 20 people laughed. <laughs> <laughs> must have been a bunch of Scorpios in there, because that's funny stuff. Big Mercury must have been in retrograde during that. It was during... waning when you were waxing. Not my fault. that happens. Uh, Katie does this thing all the time where I'll, I'm a big uh, tense, tense shoulders guy. Okay. I feel like I'm good now, but there's... I think maybe we, we had some busy stretches where I think I'd get tensed up and Katie, she love Katie loves to be like, I think, I think it'd really be good. I think you need to get a massage. She's like, so let's book a couple's one. We'll I'll go. go with you. I'm like you just want, like, <laughs> like, how dumb do you think I am? Yeah. Katie, we need, no, you, you're, you're outgrowing those shoes. So let, let's go both buy a pair. We need them. And that's how you get new shoes. <laughs> I've noticed like she's wants a massage. When I've like massage, massage, one's fun. When I've been dating people, it's like yeah, I'm pretty traditional. I like to pay for you know all the dates we go on, all the things we do. There are certain times where someone like you know what, let me get this one. I'm like oh, that's so nice. Thanks for that. And I notice she only pays when it's a place that has a rewards program. 
She's paid for every Starbucks we've ever gotten. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, 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 let me do this. Let me do this. Let uh, me use my app real quick. No, let me do it, and then you Venmo me for 80% of it. And <laughs> get the reward points. Seriously, no, let me bless you. Let me bless you with this I know. Apple That's, purchase. Those, those girls, who they like to flex because they're like, let me get the ice cream. Mm-hmm. Like, I just paid $100 for dinner. Not to mention the parking. She's using a punch card. What do you think when you're dating a girl? Um... What 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 do you what do you appreciate? Let's say you go on five dates with a girl. Okay. Which option would you choose? Love this. Five dates. She has offered to pay for zero percent of it. Okay. You've you've taken it all. She's always said thank you. Okay. Option two. She, um, you on the first date? The first date, she's like, let's split this. She's like, no, 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 please. Okay. Second date, she offers again. You're like, no, no. Third date, she's like, I insist I'm paying for this. Okay. The whole date. Okay. Or option four. Couple dates, she doesn't offer to pay. Maybe third date. You still pay dessert. She's like, let me grab this one. So it's a little non. Those are your options, which you choose. <laughs> okay, none of those are too bad. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I like option two. Okay. Like very quick to offer. Tight but... one. <laughs> <laughs> What's the one where she pays the most? Yeah. Okay, I'll choose that one. <laughs> I'll choose that one? <laughs> no, I think option three is the one that happens probably the most likely. Yeah. Um, either way, as long as she says thank you, though. That's the biggest thing, because it, it's not about that. It's about the gratitude. Like, did you acknowledge that I paid for this? Uh, That's big. Me and Gary Vee are very similar in that way. Big gratitude, yes, guys. Gratitude. We have a ton in common. Say thank you. <laughs> but I'll note when I dated as an adult, people had jobs and stuff. They were willing. But, dude, back when you were a student and stuff, oh my gosh. no one had money. You couldn't afford These to. girls, <laughs> they didn't offer anything. Oh, and my gosh. I mean, I, I bought some chick like a $30 Valentine's necklace. Uh-huh. I had half a mind to ask for that back. Yeah. <laughs> when that didn't work out. Yeah. I was in the whole, a couple Call of Duty games, which was my world. I mean, I, I gave this world the world. And it's tough too. I couldn't afford the $30 necklace. So I just went to Dave and Buster's and it was quarter after quarter after quarter trying to use the She's claw. Like, I want to play this game again. You're to like, get the oh necklace. My goodness. I had to, I was trying to like claw up the necklace. And then by the end of it, I spent more than $30. Mm. So. But that, that was a good strategy. You said, you just, yeah. You said black feet. <laughs> yep that was it kept you from focusing um but yeah so i don't really massage anymore i don't detox actually i did get a massage a couple years ago and it was a deep tissue massage and i did not enjoy that did this man's better, elbow was inside of me yeah oh it hurt <laughs> i i don't like it's never good when you're face down and you're like what are they using <laughs> Right now, as if they're el- they're they're honest to God might be on their knees on top of me. I think he has a hard hat on and he's using a jackhammer. Yeah, I think he is just pl- plummeting full a- WWE <laughs> me right now. Ugh! Or like I'm so thankful for the space for your head to go because I'm like, <laughs> it's like I'm squatting and I'm like, Ugh! like how's that pressure? And they hear me going, Ugh! it's fine, <laughs> uh, I, it's good. And then I, for some reason, it's weird when you get a massage. You're for whatever reason, you're like scared to speak up. Yeah. They're just pummeling me. And I'm like, I would like to ask them to tone it down, but I just don't feel comfortable asking. I don't know. Yeah. They're just in charge. I'm just going to pay them 50 bucks to torment me for the next 30 minutes. (laughs) Oh, I just remember being so hot. Not in a good way. Just like so warm. That's not good. Yeah. Oh yeah. A lot of times they they like, they have like a warming table. I'm always like, like, turn that off. Yeah. I get sweaty. What are we doing? (laughs) Rub me all up. Trying to warm me up. Yeah. No. Cooking a bird or something. I also rotisserie me while you, <laughs> yeah. while you, they like strap my feet in Austin me and wrist in, and I'm just like slowly turning. I'm like a hot dog roller at Quick Trip. I'm like, can is I just not, stay still? Is that what your massage is? <laughs> there's just when I walk in, there's just a room with just a single metal bar, and they just say, "Hold that, <laughs> just hang on." And they um, turn up to about ninety eight. They have me put on some receiver and they gloves. Just beat me with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just lower the pressure a little bit? Oh! <laughs> Just really got to massage the ribs. <laughs> <laughs> got to work those out. You ever been to the chiropractor? Uh, yeah, one time. Yeah, did we talk about this? I don't know, but I did a video for him. So he's like, in return, I'll pay you and I'll give you a free session. So I was like, all right, cool. So I'm going to pay me too. And so we get into the session and he's like, so what are the, what are the issues? And I was like, oh, I didn't, like, I didn't really have any issues. Uh, Scoliosis, right? I can tell. <laughs> I mean, you I can tell just by looking. Up, yeah. yeah. Just by looking at you, I could tell. I mean, where do we start, yeah. right? I was like, no, I... Can't feel your left leg? What are we talking? <laughs> You're insecure about your hair. I'm like, what? No, that's no, not even my that's back. Not... Yeah. <laughs> I noticed your uh, license plates are uh, expired. <laughs> so, 
Maybe we hit the L7, get sure. you a little more focused on that. You, I bet you wish you were in better shape, right? Mm-hmm. Cardiovascular health isn't doing too well right now, mm-hmm. ever since college? Yeah. No. Your breath stinks. Come here. <laughs> so he gave we you a little... Dead. Well, he just refused to believe that nothing was wrong. And I, I couldn't convince him otherwise. He's like, no, no, no. Hey, come on. Come on. Hey, be honest with me. Look, hey, we have a... Uh, you know, safe space. Yeah, safe... Hey, HIPAA. You ever heard of it? Okay. Mm-hmm. I used to play it all. I'm like, yeah, I used to play all the time. Hungry, hungry hippos. Okay. I don't want to, I'm not in the mood to play hungry, hungry hippos right now. Just crack me and let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. He's like, no, no, no. Seriously. Let me know. What do you got? You stressed? Back pain? You sleeping all right? And I'm like, sir, I don't know. I, I sleep phenomenal. I overslept my alarm today. Like, I am sleeping yeah, so good. It's late. Then. Yeah. Is there anything that made me sleep work? Could you give me a little pain? <laughs> How do get I get out of up? bed in the morning? Yeah. Ouch. Yeah. Can you make me wake up to my alarm? And while you're at it, make. Elizabeth respect me. Do you have any kind of stretch for that? Yeah. <laughs> any kind of back back massage kind of, uh, where she listens to adjustment. me. But I that's the main thing I remember. It was him just like refusing to believe that nothing was wrong. And so he's like, he didn't know what to do, which I guess makes sense. It's not like he's just like you know, giving me a checkup. So mm-hmm. he just kind of like cracked my neck really loudly and I just prayed to God they wouldn't kill me. Because mm-hmm. I feel like I defended him. Have you have you got a, been the chiropractor? The neck cracks are a little too loud for comfort. I was I grew up in a chiropractor believing family <laughs> intensely, and so I went to it a few times in like high school. And but this guy, he would just kind of like press on your back a little, no okay. real cracks, and he'd be like, "See you next week." Like, <laughs> I guess he's doing stuff. And then I <laughs> I guess he's doing. I didn't stuff. go for years, and I had this uh, I like threw up my back or something. I mean, I was brutal. I was like, I gotta go do something. Okay. And I mean, I went to this chiropractor who. I think he was like a UFC fighter having like a <laughs> grappling practice. I mean, he'd be like, all right, get on your side. Now, now, uh, put these put, gloves put on. The, yeah. Put these gloves on. Um, <laughs> here, he, he took his wallet out and he put it in my mouth. Like by that. <laughs> and he crossed my like knee over this one and like my arm behind my head. And then he like wrapped me up like a newborn. He was just like, Ugh! I mean, <laughs> just so many things cracked. He's, He's like, let me know if the pressure is too much. He picked me up. He swaddled me. He sang me a lullaby. I thought that part was weird. Mm-hmm. And then he just he put me to sleep. I don't know how long I was out. You you get back there and like grab my head and you'd be like tilt your chin up, breathe in, breathe out, hello and goodbye <laughs> to anyone who thinks they can stop me this yeah. Friday night. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I do remember now. Yeah, you got me at one point. He just started whispering, tap out, tap out. Tap out. <laughs> I was like, what is happening? <laughs> say uncle. Say yeah. uncle. Say uncle. <laughs> whispered that in my ear when you said the cross the leg over i remembered he had me do that thing too and i was like uh-oh here comes yeah. here comes a big fart please don't fart please, please don't. don't fart like that was his main goal just embarrass me mm-hmm. get him in the fart position it was wild. Up. chiropractor uh-huh. also have something fun to get into because i don't think you need to have any kind of medical medical degree to just be licensed in chiropractic so be strong yeah just good good joints good, good grip strength Mm-hmm. So, there's something. I think we've talked about chiropractic. Uh, I, I mean, I love it. You you feel it's just immediate relief in a lot of ways. But um, you, gotta, you you also unfortunately have to like stretch and stuff. I'm like, can you just yeah. crack me and fix me? But only go so far. I've tried to do yoga because I know that stretching is good for you. It's so boring. Well, you haven't done good yoga though. I guess not. It can be challenging. I need to. I haven't done it in a long time. It's it's nice. It's good. Can you touch your toes? More than you would think. Good for you. Yeah, actually, touching your toes is kind of a pass-fail, so I don't really know what, what I meant by that. <laughs> Six out of ten. Six out I can't of... get those pinky and ring toes. Those ring toes. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to do some more yoga. It's just tough because there's so many white girls at yoga and so many white girls follow me that there's always at least one. There's side-eyeing me. You know you're going to get some story tags. Farting and... Yeah. Walk out of yoga. Grunting. You ever done any like variation of yoga? Hot yoga? Goat yoga? Hot yoga is, that's the only one I want to do. At least you're like sweating or something. Yeah, and it feels like more of a workout. Some, I've been to a couple of yogas where they, it's like too easy and you just kind of like, you know, touch your toes for 45 minutes. You're like, yeah, well, that's how I felt. I'm like, I guess it could have pushed myself. You go to myself. some that are, that are more intense and really get after it. Yeah. I feel like every now and then I'll be like walking somewhere downtown or by, you know, to different parts of Kansas City. I'll just look to my right and there's just like women just scattered doing yoga. I'm like, did you guys all drive? Is this worth it? I don't know. I don't know how they hear about it. Yeah. I don't what, know is how this a all Facebook there. group or BYOM? How, what, what's the mat situation? I don't know. That's that's a sign of a real noob when you got to walk in and rent or borrow a mat. 
That was embarrassing. That was always me at title boxing. Yeah. I think I told you that because I have just the big old red gloves on so everyone yeah. knows I'm the new guy. I'm like, dang it. You just come, you're just you're just totally new to boxing class. You walk in with no shirt on and like you order shorts that say triplet on it. <laughs> I've, this is what I've seen on boxing. I, I brought an old trainer with me, like this old yeah. guy, this yeah. old rugged guy. To this train. is my uncle Mickey. <laughs> He he's loves gonna, Rocky. Yeah. So he's going to he's, help me. He's going to help me today. Like, sir, we have, uh, you know, we have Enrique here. He can, yeah. He's going to do everything. Oh. Oh. So what's, Sorry. what should Ricky so do? I don't need a mouthpiece? <laughs> I, I'm, he's come with Vaseline all over your face. <laughs> yeah. I'm ready. He's got like a box cutter ready to cut my eyelids if they yeah. get too swollen. <laughs> so. But sir, don't do this. <laughs> sir, sir. Cut him. <laughs> all right. Look. Hey. Come here, Jakey. <laughs> Uncle Mickey, going to get you right. This guy, Enrique, he wants to bury you. Yeah. Like, I think he's just... Like, hey, go fight him. Go fight the train. <laughs> Sir, this is a $45 class. <laughs> Calm down. I think he just wants me to jab cross the bag. Yeah. I don't think he's asking me to fight him. Don't listen to him. <laughs> That's what he wants you to think. <laughs> That's what he wants you to think. Get him inside, get him outside. Yeah. Hey, be quick. Be quick. Get in, get out. Be quick. Trust your jab. Uh, okay, we... <laughs> Uh, we will be right back. Jake, what are your what are your, some of your goals in 2022? Well, I would like to find love for the first time, and I'd like to be more hydrated. Well, Liquid IV is here to help. Wow, perfect. Uh, <laughs> hey, I I big fan of hydration. I've always been a big water guy, but Liquid IV gets you hydrated with so many more benefits. Um, one stick of Liquid IV and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster than and more efficiently than water alone. Um, I think it's also delicious. It's a nice low calorie. Yes. I love how good it tastes because I'm a basic little picky boy. So I'm not going to drink just water by itself, but they got watermelon, strawberry, uh, all sorts of flavors you're going to love just like me. Mm -hmm. Pina colada. Pina colada. Uh, contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. Come on. Three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. We love Liquid IV. Get you some today. Uh, grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco. Okay. Or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TREY at checkout. That's 25% off anything, anything you order when you use promo code TREY at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today at liquidiv.com. Promo code TREY. Jake, when you were a little, just a little young kiddo, mm -hmm. if I was your dad, mm -hmm. which I'm not, mm -hmm. and I said, hey, Jake, how was school today? What would you say? Good. Well, I've heard that's still happening today. My friends who have kids, uh, they have the same issue, and I told them about out school. Because um, guess what? These little kids today, they're, not, they're interested in learning, but not, not in all the ways that maybe schools want to. But out school offers uh, a great variety of live interactive online classes for kids pre-K through high school, and their classes are actually fun. Yes. Um, my, my friends, they said their kids love this. I, I checked out the website. I was even kind of loving it. Yeah. Really, the classes are super affordable. Um, you can choose the size and group that works best for your child. Classes bring kids together around their shared passions and interests, helping them fall in love with learning. And they, make, they just make it easy for kids to learn what they love. Uh, a gift that gives them gets, gives back over and over for their whole lives. Mm. Learning. Mm. Um, so I've heard, I mean, my friend's kids love OutSchool. I, I was very impressed with OutSchool. Y'all need to check it out for your the kiddos in your life. OutSchool has helped kids get excited about learning. They can help yours too to learn more about all... OutSchool has to offer and save $15 off your child's first class. Go to OutSchool.com slash Trey and use code Trey. That's code Trey at O-U-T-S-C-H-O-O-L.com slash Trey to save $15, $15 off your child's first class. OutSchool.com slash Trey. We're back. Uh, we're going to do a little runs and funs segment. That's right. It's been a what, while. What gave you the runs? What made you have funs? Um, <clears throat> That's I, right. My runs was... Uh, I had a... Uh, one of my good friends coming to town, which is always a treat. And we, so of course I had to take him to a great local restaurant. We went to this barbecue place, a uh, great spot, very fun Friday night. It was a Friday night. It's, you know, there's a huge football game Sunday. I don't think this would happen, but everyone in there has on their gear. I mean, these people, they're, they're acting like the game's about to kick off. Like they're, they're about to play. Off. So we're just like eating <clears throat> barbecue and there's a, there's this old white guy in head to toe camo. That's also chief's, like football branded. I don't even know where you buy this. And he's just repeatedly doing the um, tomahawk chop. Tomahawk chop chant. Oh, 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 in between bites of his ribs, and, oh, and like three people kind of join. And we're just like, what? And then there's Cincinnati Bengals fans there, repeatedly screaming. There was a drunk girl who repeatedly uh, whistled with her fingers. Fun. 
she for no reason she would just just every five minutes would just go oh i hate that i mean the whole i'm like Could so, is this allowed <laughs> and so i started i started getting like stop be quiet stop please stop whistling please stop she it's so fascinating. Me. Sports just bring out weird things in people. Like just the fact that a grown man walks into a, a, a restaurant and bar yeah. decked out it with face paint, you know, and it's chanting well, Native yeah, American. Where else can you just holler like that? I mean, it, this is not okay. He sounds like a tailgating rod kind of guy. They would yeah, probably tailgating rods, buddy. A lot no of doubt custom, about it. custom apparel. I mean, they were, they were in a booth that way, so I saw that. I didn't see the guy whose head was to my back. It was probably Rod. Probably was. Probably had a good set of teeth on him. Veneers. <laughs> veneers. Screaming through the veneers, maybe. Those were my runs. Gosh. Well, that reminds me, during, like, yeah, I'm, I'm at the Chiefs game. Everyone's doing, like, the chant, you know, before the game. And this the guy, that anti-national anthem guy. He's like, they had a week to figure it out. <laughs> he'd, he'd be screaming. He's like, you sound like you crying. When we're doing that, uh, you sound like you taking a dump or something. <laughs> Why are you crying? Why, well, just Just yeah. screaming to nothing. I mean, no one is acknowledging it. Just screaming in the open air. There's nothing worse than the uh, sports game comedian. You know this guy? Yeah. You go, especially in college, you go to the, the the basketball game, and he's up there like, yeah. What what's this ref? A blind zebra? <laughs> hey hey ref, nice haircut. <laughs> like, dude, this is I'm watching the game, not you. Stop. There's all we've all been around the uh, the sports game comedian never fun that's a great one i don't know what to categorize the guy sitting directly next to me who's pretty quiet the whole game but towards the end of it he like hits me and isaac and not hits us but it's like gets our attention and he's like please miss this field goal like looking me in the eyes we need it we haven't been in the super bowl forever we need it please miss this field goal and isaac and i were just looking i'm like we're i didn't we're not on the team buddy i'm not mic'd up to the coach i'm three rows from the top Listen. This is all I can do. <laughs> we can we miss this one coach, uh this belligerent Ohio and <laughs> really would prefer it. Um look, he just started watching football a couple weeks ago. He's really excited. He drove eighteen hours round trip to be here. He had to take off work on Monday. And now he's asking me if we can miss the kick. Those are all Which the details. Trouble, yeah. I, so just do whatever you want with that. Yeah. It's a, you spent a lot of money to be here. Good money. Uh huh. Yeah, so I don't know. He's been screaming at restaurants all weekend, so raising support. I feel like that's probably sometimes how God feels. We're like, God, can I just pass this test? He's like, yo, I got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. You think I, do. I... <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. You know how many other people are t- <laughs> in my ear about stuff? Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like, like, God, please give me this job. Um, I know there's there's eight people that also yeah. want the job, so if you just go ahead and devastate them. <laughs> really be pretty awesome for me <laughs> thank you god i need this scholarship god, well please. i don't need it please. i mean the the underprivileged kid with one arm probably needs it but uh-huh. it would just be it took him twice as long to s- submit to it <laughs> yeah, i really wants it try to type with one hand oh my gosh anyway um runs and funds my uh my run and fun is one and the same I went and got my spray tan this past week. My fantasy football spray tan. You got the spray tan. I did, and you're you probably noticing. Oh well, wow. tan didn't didn't even notice. That's the fun what's part. The, what's Spoiler the trick here. Um, run is that. Uh, did you send proof? Do mm, you have a photo? Yeah, yeah. So I I go in there and I'm talking to him like, hey, I need to look dark, you know, or whatever. And what was Which great? Weird was way to phrase it. This girl. <laughs> Could you make me? Make me look dark. The girl behind the counter, I mean, five different times throughout the conversation. Are you sure you want to do this? <laughs> Just No, I don't want to do it. Did you explain to, it to her? Eventually, I did. Oh, yeah. And she's like, is there anything else you could do? And just like, I mean, it kind of gave me the chiropractor, you know, just like, I don't know. You don't know, man. You're already so, you're already pale and have a curved spine. I don't know if you need this. <laughs> this might set you back even further. Yeah. And... uh <clears throat> Anyway, so I talk to them. They decide on a, I don't know what you call it, flavor, a scent, a, a spray for me, mm-hmm. a, a cream. It's heavy Malibu. Mm. Like, that sounds pretty dark. Let's do it. And I, get, and I get in there, and there's no uh, 
real instructions and there's not a human there. It's just like a booth. And so like, here's this, you know, put this over your head. And also I was about to hop in there and like, just like my shorts or something. I was like, this is about to like spray heavy Malibu on me. Like, is I going to come out on like my shorts and stuff? I don't know. Better not take any chances. <laughs> yeah. So, um, got a little cold in there, but I did hop in and then this machine is like telling you what to do. Yeah. But it's on a speaker, like the side, you know, it would be like, grab hold of the rail. Do not let go. <laughs> um, try not to tap out. <laughs> no, it was like a very tiny speaker, like the original, like iPod speaker or something like that, but at full volume. So it's like, make sure when you're turning the next to yeah. send the toes on the left and then turn the five, four, it's like, three, <laughs> you are in, you are trapped. <laughs> No one can help you now. Shame. Two, one. <laughs> I could, Hold your breath. I could just catch words. I could catch like I heard heels and toes, but I don't know. Three, two. two. I was like, where, where are the heels and toes? Yeah. <laughs> How do I talk to someone? I don't know where to go. And so, you know, I'm just trying to do things that make sense at this point. I can't hear what to do. I'm just kind of spinning with my arms up and then sometimes my arms down and uh, so I don't even know how even the tan really came out because... And, you know, to be honest, I wasn't super opposed to looking a little tan. Hey, as long as it doesn't look ridiculous, it wouldn't be the worst thing. Nope. But I get – um, let me show you this picture I have. I should have prepared you for this. But the hairnet ended up being my downfall because I didn't really think about it. I was like, oh, yeah, just, like, cover my head or whatever. I don't want it to get my hair. Well, <laughs> it was like <laughs> – if you can imagine, <laughs> just, like, barely above my eye, it's just a straight line. Um from like Show tan here and pale up top. <laughs> so it's just like, I looked ridiculous. And so I was like, dang it now. And so I went home and so I texted pictures and everything to my buddies and tried to tell them the things that made you it look too crazy tan, but it did look pretty crazy. Like you couldn't have like, you know what? I'm going to rock this. That was like as soon as I got home. So I think it would have really set in, really got uh. dark. And I was like, honestly, I would kind of leave it just to see what it looks like. But I was like, the fact that I have like diagonal lines on yeah. my forehead, didn't I mean, think it looked that like through, a I guess. Power Ranger or something. So um, <laughs> I decided to like go ahead and hop in the shower pretty much right away. And then my shower looked like my body had just taken a lot of Pepto Bismol because it was mm. pretty dark in there. But um, so it pretty much all came off. So that's kind of the the runs there and the go. funs is that I had fun and it did runs off of me in the shower. Thankfully, that's funs. That's funs. <laughs> <clears throat> um, my runs and fun. I already said one runs, but I remember this too. I had fun. I was able to golf. Oh yeah, so how to nice. golf? It was fun. Played pretty solid. It's fun. Um, beautiful day. My runs. I'm on. I'm. I'm still batting a thousand for um, old white guy giving me sass at a <laughs> golf course. I mean, if you don't, if you don't follow every single weird golf etiquette rule. There's going to be some old white guy to jump down your throat. <laughs> they don't, and it's like some weird tattletale situation. They don't even work there. Yeah. They just reprimand you. I just want to be like, I literally said that to a guy once. I was like, do you work here? He's like, no. I'm like, what? Leave me alone, dude. Why are like you talking? A, a big golf thing, too, is like other players. He's call, doing it wrong. Yeah, calling the clubhouse. He's doing it wrong. And then someone from the clubhouse comes and like, hey, uh, the guys in front of you said that. It's like, yeah. they're 100 yards away from me. It'd be so much. Just come talk to me. Yeah. The guys in front of you said you threw your iron 80 yards. And screamed, why am I out here? <laughs> uh, if you could refrain from that. Let's now, keep our club throws so 50 like yards or less. Warming up on the driving range. Okay. And it's like, you know, some of these you can hit off of the ground, the grass, and then some have like an AstroTurf mat. Yeah. So sometimes they're like, you have to only hit on the mat, um, which is what I did. But then when you practice your driver, when you put it on a oh, tee. Oh, you can't tee it up in the turf. You can't tee it up. So I was like, I'll stick it in the ground off of a tee and like they don't want you to sometimes they don't want you on the grass because you know you're you're taking chunks out of the yeah. grass but when you're teeing it up you're not damaging the ground at all correct so that's what i'm doing so i'm doing that for a few minutes and some old white guy walks up who clearly doesn't even work there he he just like is there hitting a Passionate. bucket of balls just like that's only i just looked at him i was like what what you like <laughs> when you work somewhere you have an authority to like tell the customers what you're just some random guy. Mm -hmm. What? But I obeyed him. I'm like, what? But I did it really reluctantly. I'm like, why? I don't feel like. It's like if I go. Uh, it's like if I go to like uh, Wendy's and someone's in front of me is like checking out. I'm like, I'm like, hey, you need to 
tap your card instead of swipe it. <laughs> tap it instead of swipe it. It's better. It's, it's like it, what? It's quite a bit faster, actually. You don't get to tell me what to do. I don't know you. Yeah, you just like roll your window down next to someone in the drive-thru. Get the number five. Mm -hmm. I was thinking about... Get the number five. Make sure you speak up, too. <laughs> number five. Say please and thank you. Please and A. Put it in reverse and say thank you. <laughs> just people start doing it. I think you'd be amazed how many people, if you just told strangers what to do, they'd do it. Because we're just so scared. I'd, that some complete stranger told me what to do and I did it. Yeah. Why'd I do I, It'd be fun to see what you can get away with. Just stand in front of a public restroom. Hey, guys, today uh, we're actually doing guys and girls, girls and guys. Mm -hmm. I'd be like, all right. We're doing flamingo only. You have one one-legged peas. One leg up, please. Figure it out. <laughs> Maybe That's take a balancing partner. I don't know. Figure it out. Lean up against the wall. <clears throat> so that was my runs. and <laughs> I'm batting a thousand. Guys, yeah, just uh, also very surprised. You know, Kansas City has no masks anywhere. Mm -hmm. And we went to this in the middle of nowhere, Missouri to golf. And they had like signs everywhere. Mask on please with like complimentary masks. Just Weird. In my mind. That is a, the golf community doesn't seem it. like the mask community. Yeah, I did it. But I Maybe that's what he's yelling at me. Or at you. When, when he said mats only. Yeah. yeah. Mask only. Hey, mask on buddy. <laughs> mask only. Like We're fine. Outside. I'll hit on the mats. <laughs> like, oh no, I don't um, care about that. COVID outdoors. We had a lovely day golfing. That's fun. That reminded me, I was on a golf podcast last week and, um, they follow us and listen to what we do and everything. So they're like, so, you know, I'm sure you guys get to golf a lot on tour. How is Trey at golf? And I was like, okay, well, your first question out of the gate is like, that was right. That's all we thought. They tell us, know. tell us about your boss's golf Does game. Suck? I'm like, why? I don't why feel like I need to this? talk about my boss's he golf. I'm like, really angry out there. I feel like I'm a little trapped here. Um, don't worry. I was very complimentary. <laughs> We're all learning. I, uh, yeah, we get a better shot. Of, uh, almost broke a hundred. Right. Shot a hundred one. Hey, great movie for Dalmatians. Yep. Great score in so golf. We're improving. It was, it, was a, it was more of a 120 guy for a while. So Yeah. No, that's awesome. Um, yeah. It's great. The old white guys in golfing. That is the best. Man, I hadn't golfed in a long time. Though. I, I get so sore. I think I'm, I swing it too hard. But, like, <laughs> just if it's been a while, my, like, basically my left side from, like, my, the muscle up connects up to my ear. That. Down through my shoulder, <clears throat> through my arm. That's the golfing muscle. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> ear to <laughs> hip. Brute, ear to hip. I can't believe that's on fire. This is one of those things I remember <clears throat> like kind of quietly hearing you complaining about like one of your fingers one time or like I over the course of, it up. of weeks in golf, you're like, Man, my fingers just killing me. I have to swing softer. I'm like, that's interesting. I don't think much of it. And then we learned one day the way you were gripping the club was like trying to show like a chimpanzee how to play golf. Yeah, I mean it's I like, just had it. Sure contorted. he was gripping it, but <laughs> I finally I changed it up, man. So I'm not It's like, dude, how do you do this without breaking your finger? Yeah. It's now you're, you're a new man. Now I'm a new man. No. I was so excited for you. <sighs> Once I found that. But yeah, it's good. We're hoping to golf this week. We're going down to Texas and Get Tulsa. your tickets. Get your tickets to our golf. We're going out during another winter storm, it seems. Yeah, we're timing it. Be safe. Um, yeah, it's going to be. Everywhere we go, it's just freezing. So what else you got? What else are you going to do but come out to a show? Right. Good, yeah. Really. It's a good excuse to finally leave the house. And come in sweatpants. It doesn't matter. It doesn't. It's warmer that way. Where two of them? Yep. Trakey.com slash tour. Get your tickets. Go in, uh, go in all the places. Katie, uh, her birthday is this weekend. Oh, boy. And sweet, the day we're in sweet, sweet Arkansas. Our honeymoon was in Arkansas. Her 30th is in Arkansas. I spoil her, man. Your first kiss with your sister involved was also in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. You Just how they do it down there. Yeah. You know, you and your sister, you and your sister also go way back <laughs> of Arkansas roots. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. Uh, so yeah, don't say I don't spoil her, man. I think our maybe like our five year anniversary. I think we're gonna go uh, spend just spend a few weeks in the Ozarks. Yeah, do it right. <laughs> do it right. Maybe, maybe go down to Little Rock. Go see the crime. Hey, don't spoil it. <laughs> I can yeah. be fun. Honestly, though, at least it's Fayetteville. Fayetteville's a cooler city than Wichita. Mm -hmm. So it's good that it's that there. Tour Walmart corporate. <laughs> yeah. Go see we the might. Walton family. Yes. Uh, that's fun. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Here's a birthday idea for you. Hope Katie doesn't listen. Um, my first time ever in Fayetteville, Arkansas. The, <laughs> don't worry. She has no clue this even happens. But my friends took me hillbilly skydiving. This is what you could do to Katie. I was like, all right, I'm down. So they're like, they blindfolded me. They put me in the back of a car. They drive me 10 minutes somewhere. 
They get me out of the car. I'm still blindfolded. I'm walking through like... Already, Katie wouldn't love this. <laughs> so, but keep going. Uh, I'm walking through like thick brush, like woods. Like not like sticks in my face necessarily, but I could tell like from the knees down, there's like some some sticks and leaves and stuff. So like, where the chiropractor are the office. <laughs> it's your chiropractor appointment. Follow me. Don't ask questions. I'm going to injure you so that you can have to come to me. Eventually, then we're on a harder surface, which I'm like, this could be like concrete, but also could be... Like in my mind, I'm like, they walked me through the woods. Now I'm at the, like, the edge of a cliff is what it feels like. It's like hard rock underneath me. It's like, all right, this is the part like that we took you to. This is the hillbilly skydiving part of it. You have to trust us on three, jump as high as you can. That's all you have to do. I was like, okay. They're like, just trust. It's it's going to be unsafe if you don't jump high. You just you need to jump as high as you can on three. I'm like, and everything's going in my head. I'm like, why did I even agree? I'm blindfolded. I could easily take this off at any point. Some guy's screaming at me, mats only, keep the blindfold on. I'm like, all right, you're right, sir. Yeah. You know, I don't know why I'm so obedient. And so like one, two, three, I jump as high as I can. And then in one of the more confusing moments of my life, this crazy loud noise happens and I am blasted by air on the front of me. And I go flying backwards. The blindfold flies off. And I'm just so confused for two and a half seconds. Really fun. Uh, they took me to like an outdoor car wash. We were this thing. Well, you could also put in a quarter for these like airplane engines, basically to blow dry your car. And so they just took me in front of that and made the wind blow on my face. And that is hillbilly skydiving, everyone. What do you think? <laughs> She's going to love it. <laughs> oh, man. I can't wait. Yeah. I know you guys were expecting so a lot of that So after that, story. we were like, that was awesome. We were just like, why did we do that? It was like, this is a little much. Or that was like, <clears throat> that was kind of fun i guess but Were i they feel just like cracking up or like oh man we, we take everyone to do it <laughs> okay yeah i got you ever heard of a uh, snipe hunting yeah i got tricked by that did you really yep <laughs> shows how stupid i am oh no how to have freshman year college i don't know some like kid from the middle of nowhere is like yeah out out in the woods there's like these little <laughs> birds and you can like hunt like out at night you can like see them I just fully believed him. I was like, I've never been outside. I grew up in a <laughs> nice house. <laughs> so show me. No, we're outside the gate. <clears throat> so like a group of us walk in the woods and they're kind of leading us out. And then, you know, you turn around and everyone just sprints toward, back towards the car. And their goal is just to drive off without you. Yeah. And um, they just got me. They all got in there. I like tried to hop in and they drove off. And it was like, ha fun. And then you kind of call them like, Are you, am I really going to walk? Are you going to make me walk? Back like five miles, and like now, and then they picked you up. Huh? It's like that was something to do on a Tuesday. Yeah, I guess something. Mm -hmm. And jokes on them because you did find a little bird that day. Uh huh. Called courage. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So joke is on. Joke them. is on you, and that's why I vow to never go outdoors again. Yeah, love staying indoors. Oh my. Indoors is awesome. Love Dude, it. I, we're on the same page about a lot of things. One of them is the camping thing of like, why as a society, we've advanced too far to go camp and sleep on the ground and make food out of a pot mm -hmm. on a fire. Another big thing. One of my roommates was like, cause our dishwasher isn't working very well. He's like, I mean, we could just, I have a rack somewhere. What if we just hand wash everything? I was like, nope, we are a 21st century household. <laughs> churn our own butter too. Yeah. We will use the air conditioning. We will use the heat. We'll fix we use, the dishwasher. We will use everything at our disposable to live in the year 2022. Mm -hmm. I shut it down so quick. I was like, yeah. no, we are, we are using appliances in this house. Just the new house. Just immediately be like, let's just get rid of these appliances. What if instead let's of. Let's go ice chest freezer. <laughs> Hey, no fridge. Do we need a TV? Jake, you're a creative guy. What if you put on your little skits for us yeah. when, when we wanted to watch a movie? What if you just what if Trey came over and you guys did a little you could Come do on. your Hallmark movie thing for us? Let's think about it. <laughs> that would save on electricity too. Hand washing, man. Oh man, yeah, what so. a hang hang stuff out on the dry, <laughs> the clothesline, <laughs> yeah. dry it out. Jeez. Oh man. Simpler times. Is your uh, washer dryer in your basement? No, dude. It is pretty much right next to my living room, and I love wow, it. I do laundry all the time. That's now. the ultimate middle class flex, right there. <laughs> I you get love that. It. Just, you get that washer and dryer up on the main floor. Yes. Whoa! First time since I was eighteen. I'm back. Whoa! And I love Where's it. Where's yours, Derek? It's in the basement. Basement, Ooh, Derek. Basement guy. We got to get this guy a raise. <laughs> <laughs> basement. Yep. That's uh. That's when you know you've made it. 
Dude, you get it up a level. Whoa. It's it's truly changing the way I, I function and I do my chores now. It's like normally it's like I wear a shirt like I could probably wear that again. I'm like, no, put it in the dirty clothes. It's, it, it's dirty one clothes. step closer to doing laundry again, which I love. Do you have a sizable laundry room or is it just kind of a little closet? Not necessarily. It's kind of like a mud room kind of thing. It's it's tiny though. So to say, you had a little room, you throw a TV in there. Oh. Maybe a little mini fridge. Oh. Mid laundry day, just got a whole new set up a little lawn chair. I'm just watching Whoa. it spin. Yeah. <laughs> like this is great. This is, this is I mean, see this? <sighs> mm, drives it so much faster than the clothesline. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's good. Know. It's good. Love the laundry. What's your main chore, would you say? The chore you're kinda of passionate about. Uh I make my bed every day. Dude, nice. I made my bed this morning. Well, look at you. I'm I'm nuts. I'm going off the rails these days. Look at you, yeah. Uh big make the bed guy. Um Cooking's not really a chore, but I like to do some of the cooking. Yeah. Uh, laundry has been really taken off my plate. I, <laughs> I can't quite figure that out. <laughs> I ruined a few of Katie's items, and she's just like, you're an idiot. I I'll can't just, quite figure this yeah, out. She'll just do that one now. Um, <clears throat> I mean, we, I, you know, I, we we kind of split the dish dish duties. Yeah. We do a pretty good rotation there. What am I missing? I, I, I do the trash day. I got the trash okay, out this trash morning. Man. Our trash is a little annoying. You have to like, they want it in bags, not in bins. Bins. So I have to like put Much the smaller bags that in the bigger bags. Yeah. <laughs> Looks way better. And then. What about like uh, just general cleaning, cleaning floors, cleaning countertops, you guys splitting that up? I mean, we do a fairly good job just keeping it tidy. She, she'd probably argue I don't do as much as her. You in that can... part. I take the, I, you know, I mowed the lawn, do a little of the outside stuff when. Outside stuff. <clears throat> when you... that's around. Just, no, I don't go outside. Though. Yeah, you take care of the snipes if it's like a rough season mm-hmm. for them. Mm-hmm. That would be something you could convince Katie that you're doing chores. Hey, I've heard snipe season's gonna be really bad this year. I did my first um, big boy protective act last night about five in the morning. Here we go. I wake up, look at the Ring app, and I see it says uh, back door open. I'm like, mm-hmm. so I, at first I'm like, that's I mean probably just a glitch, and I start thinking, I'm gonna I'm not gonna be able to go out to bed because. <laughs> Is the back door open? So I got on there. Back door is just open. Mm. So I'm kind of like. That's scary. We did have people over the game. People were going back and forth out of that door because we had a cooler out there. So I'm like, that's the most logical thing. Okay, good. But a little bit scared. Yeah. And I checked the whole house. There wasn't there wasn't like a guy in the closet like, hey, what's up? <laughs> uh, so I felt pretty brave. Got back that's to awesome. bed. I said, Katie, not to worry. I checked the whole house. We're safe. You say the coast but is clear. Could you please scratch my back? Because now I'm scared. I, I so I can go back to sleep. Can you give me the tinglies? Yeah, just for a little bit. Thank you. Not to worry, your man has you protected. There's no intruders here, but I'm a little worked up. So if you could <laughs> rub my head until I fall back asleep, <laughs> that would be much appreciated. Thank you. A few words of affirmation wouldn't be the worst mm-hmm. thing either. Tell me how strong I am. Thank you. Yeah, you come back you're like, babe, the coast is clear. In the hallway. That's as far as I got, but there's definitely no one in the we'll hallway. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Still hear some noise downstairs. I know. It's I want you away. to sleep on this side of the bed tonight. It's unrelated, but <laughs> I think you close to the door might make more sense when you think about it. You can get out faster mm-hmm. if someone is here. Yeah, no, for sure. Did you walk around with a weapon or just bare hands? No. Title boxing style. Title boxing style. Yeah, Uncle mm-hmm. Ricky would have loved it. Yeah. Yeah. No. Nope. Good That's, for you. Yeah, man. I didn't need no weapon. Checked it out. All good. I've walked through a house one time with a golf club in like middle school to help my aunt out. I uh, I ended up getting the guy, and then at the end, he looked a ton like my uncle. So yeah. that was, a, I don't know. Tough. I'm still on the fence about that. Yeah. But I, I got him good. No, I mean, no wonder you got such a good golf swing. <laughs> a little power behind that. Yeah. It's tough to take a three iron up six feet high, but I did it. So that's yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> that is that. Yeah, so uh yeah, what what you do all the chores? Um lately I've been like When I lived with the dudes, we had to do a lot of uh the is the dishwasher cleaner dirty? That was a big one. Oh, deal. oh, all we the time. We had to start put mag, doing a magnet like cleaner dirty situation. Yeah. And it's never a good sign too when you like you look in the dishwasher and you still can't tell. You're like there's a little bit of residue on these cups, but maybe that's kind of how they are. Mm-hmm. And like it smells good, but not like great not great not like just cleaned great yeah so that's tricky mm-hmm. can we make a dishwasher that just tells you like no. most recent cycle i licked it and it tastes a little like soap but i don't know maybe i maybe it is clean we'll put that's it up that's sometimes how mountain dew tastes after a few days cilantro 
Could be a cilantro Maybe thing. Maybe cilantro. Could be. I have been doing slightly more chores just because now I'm the homeowner. So I get into a little bit more and I've kind of bought some nicer things that make me want to do it. You know, like got new vacuum cleaners. Like, oh, this is fun, you know. So that's good stuff. Somewhat. But also I'm not the handyman. So I'm also like vacuuming carpet's pretty fun. Yeah, you, it's you nice hear, to see your you the stuff getting picked up. You're like, yep. Yeah. The... So long. <laughs> yeah. It's cleaned carpet. Fingernail. Now. Yeah. I like the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Someone trimmed their fingernails. Whoa. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. All good. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, I miss carpet. I mean, I remember as a kid, I was, I remember my parents were uh, building a house. Yeah. And I was like, carpet <clears throat> everywhere, dude. Why wouldn't we have carpet everywhere? But, you know, it's not as nice. And after a while, it it is kind of gross after a while when you think about it. You know, the hardwood floors look nice. But if, if I had it my way, I'd carpet the whole dang house. Yeah. Maybe that sweet, sweet carpet. It's, <laughs> it's comforting. Wait, yeah. Do you guys even have carpet in your bedrooms? No. Wow. We have carpet in the closets. Do you really? It's only carpet in the house, but it's kind of nice and cozy. Fascinating. Get in your little closet. Sometimes you just go and outfit. sit in there. Yeah. yeah. Sleep there sometimes. Carpet in the closets. Huh. Yeah, I I guess car huh. I've never thought about that. Do you have carpet? Uh yeah. In I, your bedroom? I have it in the bedroom it's and nice. it goes into the bathroom, not in the toilet or shower space, but in the sink space. Interesting. It is kind of interesting. It's fine though. I think that that's carpet okay. in all the bedrooms? Yes. It's cozy. Yep. It's not bad. It's warm. Yeah. Feels good. Match the drapes. Excuse me? That's an episode. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Get your tickets. Um, y- y'all my rec these, man. Yeah, excited to see you guys out at the shows. Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, Kansas this week. Let's go. The heart of America, baby. The heart. The atriums and the ventricles. Let's do it. We'll see you then. Uh, talk to you next week. Peace. Direct opinion.